baited by the Atlantic Ocean, the beaches of Porto combine like no other the natural beauty of the Portuguese coastline with the history and culture of this world heritage city. The climate is Mediterranean and in the summer the temperatures can reach over 35 degrees. Although we can't say that the best thing about Porto is its pebble beaches, they are a beautiful year-round complement to your visit to the city. These beaches were awarded with gold and blue flags for their safety, environmental quality, support infrastructures, information to users and environmental awareness. Praia das Pastores, Shepherdesses Beach. This small beach is protected by two piers, Molle Norte and Ferulim de Felgueiras, the lighthouse dated the 1886, which, with almost 250 meters in length, forms part of the mouth of the Douro River. This provides bathers with calm waters, that is, it is quite protected from the famous Nortadas, a strong and cold wind coming from the north. This beach is a very popular destination with fishermen, who use their long piers for their activity. And why the name of the speech, you ask? It is said that in the rural paths of the city, and more particularly in this area, shepherdesses brought animals to eat herbs by the sea. Praia do Carneiro, the Rams Beach. Continuing north along the coast, Praia do Carneiro has a reasonable length of sand. It is bounded by the pier of Ferulim de Felgueiras, the lighthouse, and by the São João da Foz Fort, also known as Castelo da Foz, built in the 16th century and enlarged in the 17th century to protect the bar of the Douro. Its name continues the narrative of how these beaches were used for grazing animals. It is said that a ram got lost here and it was immortalized on top of the Chalet Suisso, a café in Passeio Alegre Garden. Praia do Urigo the Praia do Uri was flanked by rock formations. The speech is well known for the celebration of São Bartolomeu, Saint Bartholomew, known as Banhos Santos, at the end of August. In the past, this was the beach chosen by pilgrims who came to the beach to take the holy bath, which would ward off fears and cure ailments such as stuttering, gout or epilepsy and parents still bathe children three times to ward off evil and cure illnesses. Praia dos Ingleses, the beach of the English. This beach is small and flanked by rock formations from the Precambrian period, some dating back more than 570 million years. The beach got its name because it was specially frequented by English in the mid-19th century. They would leave the city and spend a few months by the seaside. Going to the beach then became something chic, and therefore the bourgeoisie began to show itself more by the sea, even if dressed from head to toe, and with fashionable umbrellas and hats. 
going to baths didn't catch on immediately among the upper class. But the sea air was a common doctor's prescription at the time. Praia da Luz The beach is small and there are rock formations along the waterline. In the middle of the rocks that delimit it to the north, the Ribeira da Ervilheira stream flows. The name of this beach comes from its proximity to Rua Senhora da Luz, the main artery of Foz do Douro, where an old chapel dedicated to Our Lady may have been. When the chapel turned into ruins, the image of Senhora da Luz passed to the parish church of Foz do Douro, where it's still revered today. Between 1761 and 1926, the lighthouse of Senhora da Luz served to guide fishermen and sailors along the rocky coast in no less treacherous bar. Records indicate that this was the first lighthouse to exist on the Portuguese coast. Praia de Gondarei Known for many years as Praia da Conceição, which was the name of a loved beach keeper, this bathing area used to be mainly frequented by children. At that time, the ritual of moving from Praia da Conceição to Praia do Molho symbolized the passage from childhood to adolescence. The current name is composed of Gund, which means battle, and Rimis, which means rest, meaning rest in battle. Because of its shallow sand line with greater tidal amplitude, this beach can almost disappear. The rocky cord, about 50 meters from the coast, can create a cross currents, but on the other hand, offers protection against larger waves. Praia do Molho, the pier beach. The beach is known for its famous Pérgola da Foz, built here in the 1930s. It has become a viewpoint overlooking the sea, and its sumptuous staircase shows that, in fact, in the 19th century, Praia do Molho was the fashionable place to go for a swim. The name of the beach comes from the pier, which advances between the sea and protects, in part, the bathing area from the winds. The pier is still used by fishermen and for the most adventurous to jump and dive in the deepest part of the water. Praia do Homem do Leme, the Steerman's Beach. The name of the beach is related to the bronze statue that is in the garden of Avenida de Montevideo. The statue, created in 1934 by Américo Gomes, which features a man fearlessly clinging to the helm, pays homage to the fishermen. In the south, the waters are calmer due to the protection provided by a rock formation located in the center and the pier that flanks it. In the north, it is very exposed to the North Tavish, the strong winds. And here, the Ribeira de Novogil stream flows. Praia do Aquário, the Aquarian Beach. This beach has no sand, only rocks and a walkway that extends almost to the sea, raised over the rocks. It is a very beautiful place, and it owns its name to the former maritime zoology station Doutor Augusto Nobre, also known as Aquário de Foz. The building was closed to the public due to a sea storm that worsened the already very poor conditions of its facilities in 1965.
Praia do Castelo do Queijo, Cheese Castle Beach. This beach is long and lined with many rocks along the waterline, in a dominant position over the Atlantic Ocean and a short distance from the mouth of the Douro River you will find São Francisco Xavier Fort, better known as Castelo do Queijo. It got its name because it was built here on a granite rock which resembled a cheese wheel, and it is this building that names the beach. We hope you like this video and you find some time to visit our city. If you did enjoy it, please consider supporting us by subscribing, liking and sharing it with your friends. We would really appreciate it. Bye-bye!